Hey everybody, good morning. It is, uh, well, it's a little after 8.30 and we just wanted to show you the drive to the uh, factory here in Kumasi. Our driver Richard has been doing an excellent job the last couple days. And, uh, well, that is the definition of irony, my friends. You can see in the distance with that root with the blue roof that is the uh, factory some trucks with containers just showed up those might be our peanuts yet another reason to be excited for uh, starting the day today kind of our home away from home while we're here pretty big warehouse it's three bays really nice really nice space really nice area and uh, everybody's happy to be here I'll tell you, it's the most basic of things that we take for granted every day back at home. Where do we find the equipment, the parts, the tools? There is no Home Depot, there is no Lowe's. Where do we find that where we are in Ghana? All right, everybody. I'm with my friend, Louis Perez Padilla. Hi. And as you may have noticed, uh, we do not have power right now. Our generator is not yet installed, so I don't know if you've ever had to calibrate a machine or do anything like that in the dark, but we're about to do that. We just lost power because a uh, storm's coming in. It's pretty windy, right? The plant's kind of down, but we're waiting for some ingredients to be delivered. An ingredient that really is not supposed to get wet, so we'll see how that goes. I want to invite you in just to hear the sound of the rain on the roof. Get ready for it. Thanks, Phil. You got it, man. You'll see outside, it's, it's still raining pretty hard. It's all hand unloading. I feel kind of guilty. I should probably stop the camera and help. I'm uh, still working on the uh, day coder installation. Uh, luckily, we have a cordless drill and we have flashlights. Uh, even though the power's out, we'll continue to work. It's starting to get pretty hot in here. <laughs> so we'll see how long we can keep up. About 100 degrees outside, probably what, in the 90s in here? Absolutely. As soon as we get the generator up and running, hopefully we don't have any more dark days like this. All right, it is uh, Saturday afternoon, about noon. Our crane and our uh, generator's here. We're gonna try to get it over this wall that we're standing on and onto that concrete pad over there. That wall is probably about 14 feet high and there's a septic system just on this side of it, so it's a delicate balance of getting that heavy equipment over the wall and down onto its landing pad. And this is Ghana. This is what it's like here. Oh, and Sean, I would point out, right behind you yes. is real jungle. And if you care to take a walk down there, we'll find some probably 14 to 16 foot mama snakes. Bill, I'll take your word for it. My pleasure. <laughs> this is how you bring a generator over the wall. And uh, Mike's up on top of the wall directing the crane operator. And it's down. 